Hello everyone, this is Omega and I'm back to give you an unboxing this time for Sugar Muses, Midnight Muses I believe this is because the box is smaller for October of 2019. There it comes. Every time. He was quiet until now. What, Freddie? Anyways, um, I wasn't sure if I should do this unboxing at first. I had a near fainting experience tonight. Shh. What is it, Freddie? You want to come up and see everybody? You want to come up and see everybody? Wow, wow. <laughs> I was um, at a service and... Um, <laughs> Okay, I was at a service and I guess I was starting to fade out and some people there noticed and came up to me and kind of led me out of there. <laughs> I used to have these fainting spells. The first one I had when I was 10 and about eight years ago I had quite a few and I haven't had any in a like the longest time so I thought I was healed <laughs> and it's always like in a public place like it's never like at home you know where this happens so I was really embarrassed and I thought I was gonna just go for the door quietly so no one would notice and I don't know if it's just like the lack of blood to your head that makes you like not think straight because um, people did notice <laughs> But they were very kind and they helped me out. And yes, Freddie, I know you would have helped me too. And gave me some water and offered me food, which I didn't want because I was really nauseous. And, um, <laughs> what? What is it with you? So, um, yes, I actually um, go to religious services. So that may seem like, hmm, okay. That's not in line with, you know, what she does with these unboxings, but I don't really think of cut and dry things when it comes to, to spirituality. I think there is a lot out there that they don't always tell us about, and it's up to us to read and to explore other cultures and other, you know, whether it's the one that you had growing up or just adding to it, which is what I did. And I actually sing in the choir as well. So um, I'm a vocalist, so singing in the choir was, was great. And what was really funny, I got a call, or actually I got an email from someone I used to be in a band with, and I was kind of mad at him for dissolving the band. And he reached out to me, and I think he was a little afraid that you know, I was still pissed. And he said, you know, hope you're doing well and I want to offer you, you know, to come to, you know, this congregation and if you want to sing in the choir, it's, you know, you're welcome to, I want you to. And, you know, I forgave the guy and, you know, I wrote back to him and I said, uh, you know, thanks for reaching out to me and sure, I mean, I'd like to come and you know, try out for the choir, and I guess it was a sure thing, because I guess he knows my voice and um, wanted me to. So, what's really funny is that first thing when I went there, um, the cantor was like really happy to see me, and he was like, th he, he's from England, so he's like, thank, thank, oh, I can't even, hey, don't eat my hair but in that English accent of his saying, you know, thank you so much and that you're doing this. And then he hands me this huge binder that's like three or four inches thick of songs in a different language in Hebrew that I have to learn like within a few weeks time. It was, I was overwhelmed. And, you know, I thought, oh wow, they want me to sing, you know, and all of that. And, you know, he did the scales for me and they needed a tenor and I said, I have a deep voice. And he said, you do? And I, because most women either sing soprano or alto. 
and I can sing, I can't sing soprano, that's, my range is not that high, but I can do alto, I'm usually alto, but they needed a tenor, and I'm fine with being a tenor, and he's like, but anyways, he did some scales, and he's like, okay, you can do the tenor part, and I thought, wow, you know, they really want me here, and it turns out nobody wanted the job, <laughs> so, you know, I wasn't special after all, it's just they really needed somebody, no one else wanted to do it, I guess, but still, it was fun anyways, but, um, yeah, so I just, I had this kind of near quasi fainting spell, and had to put my head between my knees, and, um, I'm still a little queasy, but I do want to get this out to you, so I didn't mean to ramble on, but, um, it was just funny how out of the blue, you know, that he reached out to me and here I am in the choir. So it was weird how things work out, but everyone was really nice to me and helped me and he gave me water and tried to feed me, of course, but I didn't want to. And they even put a bucket out there in case I barfed, which I didn't, but it was still nice, nice of them to do that. So. Anyways, I'm going to get on with this box opening. I do have the regular sugar muses that came. Um, I really don't feel well enough to do a big one today, so I'm just going to do this small one. Hopefully, I'll feel better tomorrow, and I'll, I'll do the, the deluxe box, which I have waiting for me. But um, I do want to get to the midnight muses one, so I'm going to go ahead and let it rip. And Freddie is his nose in it as usual and I'm gonna put well, I'll save that for later if ready don't lick me I don't like being licked as much as I love you this is really difficult. Now you're making biscuits on me and that hurts. You, you need a bath. What's nice is that I take him to a grooming place and they clean his ears, they cut his nails because they're getting really long and they hurt. He doesn't mean to hurt me but Here we go. Midnight Muses, The Veil, As the Veil Thins, October 2019. Here's what it looks like. And we all know about October. It's a great month for us. Um, so I think it starts off like the usual. I guess I have my oracle reading. So I will read what they personally picked out for me. Zombie control. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what that means. Looks kind of ominous. We have zombies coming after me. I guess there's a website where you can look it up, what it really means. Um, and here's the sigil. As you all know, I'm really into sigils. And this has Hebrew letters on it. And Hebrew, a lot of the magicians, believe it or not, came from, you know, this is thousands of years ago, uh, where it came out of, you know, when the religion was first being formed. Um, you know, we observed 5,780 years. That's our calendar. <laughs> so it goes way back um, thousands of years. But um, there are a lot of different influences that influence every religion whether it's Christianity or Judaism or what have you. I don't have any thing against any religion um, at all. I don't hate people. I don't, I just don't, you know. So anyways, but um, Babylon, they have the old gods from Babylon 
and some of this mysticism kind of carried over into Judaism and as time went on um, there are more than the five books of Moses I, there there are a few more I think there are like four more minor stop it Freddie <laughs> but there is some you know there's the Kabbalah and the mysticism and all that but in a lot of the sigils you'll see Hebrew letters and I was lucky enough to go to Hebrew school when I was a kid so I can decipher a lot of this stuff um, oh god that hurts pretty okay let me let me go on okay black salt okay midnight muses black salt and there's a recipe and here is the illustration and frame that I love the owl two parts sea salt two parts cast iron scrapings one part charcoal ground one part fine ash from the burning an equal mix of lavender bay and sage one part black peppercorns and one part chicory there you go there's a recipe all right open up this and it's orange perfect for Halloween right and on the top well I'll start with the the obvious the orange count candle like a rust color here we all know but this is oh it's this way no right no <sighs> So, and it has some kind of, you know, spiel on it that you can use, incantation, what have you. So, I don't know if that needs explaining so much. And what I'll do, I'll hold this up. So, if you guys want to read this, you can pause it. And then... Here's the second page. All right. First I see black candles. These are like tea light candles. And tea lights. I guess there's a whole like ceremony or whatever. Position the tea lights in a circle around the artwork facing the four corners, north, east, south, and west. Light the tea lights. The sigil is used to aid in divination and serves as a focal point to place the sphere in candles. Okay. I have a feeling this is uh, kind of mirroring the witch's moon from this month. Okay, let me, I want to do the obvious first. This looks like oil. Is this oil? I don't know. I had one of those Brazilian blowouts, so my hair's poker straight right now. It's getting a little bit too textured. That's what the lady said when she saw my hair, my hairdresser, stylist, whatever. She's like, oh, your hair's looking really textured. And I guess that was her nice way of saying, it's time to smooth your hair. It's time, time to smooth that Jufro. Oh, come on, you. I'm very clumsy today. I am a little, uh, still a little woozy from that near fainting and I took my blood pressure and it's, it's on the low side to begin with, but it's it's pretty low. But I do want to get this out to you guys tonight, even though I feel weird. Okay, Midnight Muses Salem Ritual Oil. See what it smells like? Of course, I have to know. And it's got one of those roller balls. Hmm. Maybe there's a little bit of lavender. I don't know. Um, Salem Ritual Oil, stop it pretty, which contains ginger, ginger root, and amber essential oil, sweet al almond oil, and vitamin E oil, um, ground and center, okay, ground and center. Next. 
And he will wrap these up very, very nicely. It smells good, whatever it is. Hmm. I wonder if this is something that has to do with scrying, just like the witch's moon. Looks like a sphere. It is really awkward doing this with Freddie in my lap. Freddie, don't knock things over. Oh, it's a tiny one. Well, it is a tiny box. Again, Freddie, awkward. Okay, here's the sphere part of it. Very nice. And this little thing here must be the stand. Mm. Here it is. Oh, here you go. Isn't that cute? Okay. And what does it say about this? You guys know what that is. It's crying. Okay, place a sigil art print on your altar or a table in front of you, then sit at the black scrying sphere on its stand in the middle of the sigil, position the tea lights in a circle around the artwork fading, the four corners, blah, blah, blah. Oh, I already read that. Um, you guys know about scrying. I wanna read this all anyways. Here, okay, I'll get to something obvious. Incense sticks. I always love the incense. Mm -hmm. Incense sticks. Incense. Oh, that's not the vial. Okay, there's two incenses here. Okay, for this ritual, you may start with a cleansing ritual bath, gather everything, da da da, da light a mugwort. Oh, it's mugwort. Incense stick. Mugwort is sacred to Hecate, Artemis, and Diana. When burnt, it is used for protection to aid with divination tools to help open your mind to any messages coming in. Oh, it's mugwort. All right. And this looks like some herbal tea. Herbal Java organic tea with dandelion root, roasted chicory root, crystal malt, crystal malt. Chocolate barley malt. Hmm, sounds good enough to eat. Um, this is just a random thought. Back in my botany days in college, I learned that dandelion, the name dandelion comes from um, the Latin dand, which meant dent, like teeth. Leon, the teeth of a lion, because the leaves are sharp. They have points on them. I don't know why I thought of that. The dandelion reminds me of that. So that, anyways. Um, you guys go into medicine, you're gonna learn some Latin, and that helps with this. It always helps. In a different language. Or at least some of it. Okay, so there's an incense blend, casting salts, and black salts. Okay, we've had these like triads before of salts and herbs. There's the incense blend. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Incense blend in the glass vial. That's this little thing here. It has white sage, mugwort at bay, and bay. Burning will cleanse or sprinkle some by doors and windows to keep unwanted people and spirits out of your home. Okay. Casting salts, which is this little bottle. Visualize a protective blue light. Cast a circle around your clockwise with these. Visualize protective blue white light rising up from the ground and closing you in its protective sphere. Okay. And last but not least, the black salt. Where do we have the black salt? Sprinkle a small amount at 
the four corners of your home to absorb toxic energies. It must then be swept up and discarded away from your property afterward in order to dispose of the absorbable energies. The recipe for these salts is listed on the art print, which it is. It was this print here. This one here. Sorry about the ring light. All right. What's next? Looks like two items here. And this is probably a stone or crystal. Usually they come in these bags. Right, Freddie? Orange. Looks like unpolished. I don't know what this part is, but this kind of looks like carnelian. Let's see. Okay, let's see what it says. Ah, it is. Place the raw carnelian by your candle. This gemstone was once used in Egypt to protect both the living and the dead. Carnelian helps in shielding and used as a ward against enchantments and mind reading psychic attacks. Okay. Last but not least, maybe jewelry's in here or something. Ready? Nosy. Oh, nice. Ooh, a pentacle. It's adjustable. This is very nice. This looks like a sigil. And tetragam, I believe. Okay, it's the same thing. Yeah, and there's Hebrew on this too as well. And it, I don't know, I just think it helps open your mind when you study other, I mean, you don't have to, other belief systems. Because sometimes they one flows into the other. It's not discrete, you know. Like Judaism, in some ways, was a new idea, the one God thing. But it, it didn't just, there were other things influencing it just like Christianity and you know all the rest and it's just interesting to read about and learn about these little nuances things that influence the religion and how it's evolved oh what's this looks like a, some kind of flower I almost missed this that's a, some kind of flower looks like it um Pentacle, oh, go into the pendant first. Pentacle flower power pendant to charge your pendant and to get the maximum benefit form a link between yourself and the cosmic forces that will operate through by performing a simple act of empowerment. Pass through the smoke of the incense, hold your pendant to your dom in your dominant hand and picture your desired objective being infused into the piece of jewelry. Cool. And I think that's it. Oh, this one last thing. Um, where is it? it? I don't know. This is just like, this must be like there for a reason. I don't know. It, it must be in here. Yeah, I don't see it in here, but I don't know. It's probably in here somewhere. Anywho, I'll probably find out later. I'll probably find out later. Okay, whatevs. But, okay, I'll go through that this once again, quickly. Um, you have your carnelian, your raw carnelian, a little baggie to put it in. You have your black salt recipe, beautifully illustrated with an owl. You have your intuitively drawn tarot card, me on the zombie. <laughs> the tea. The incense blend. The casting salts. And where is the other one? and the black salt here. The black tea lights. The beeswax candle. Oh, this doesn't have much. Oh no, it's the bottom. 
pillow. Okay, this as well. And then you get the mugwort incense sticks. And you get this roll-on oil. And you get your little scrying, it's just like a uh, witch's moon, right? Very similar. I mean, you can never have too many of these, right? <laughs> They're just fun to look at, I guess. I don't know, they look kind of cool. And last but not least, oh, you have a sigil here. And you have the pentacle necklace here. And I think it's great. Um, I really like these. Actually, I really like the small boxes. And if your budget won't allow the bigger ones, because they are expensive, you know, they're very, they can be very cost prohibitive to people. And I totally understand. But if you're just starting out or you don't have stuff, you don't really need stuff, but it's nice to have, but you want to start accumulating things, your tools. I think these little boxes, I forgot how much one of the bits, I know it's under 30 bucks. Instead of buying, you know, ones for that are really expensive, start with these little ones because you'll still get candles. You'll still get tools. I mean, look, you got a scrying globe sphere here. You'll get oils, you'll get sigils. You'll get these little tools over time. And instead of buying everything individually, I think buying it in a box is more cost effective. So that's, I don't know, I guess that's my recommendation. And I am not being represented anyway by any of these, you know, subscription boxes, believe me. No one pays me to say that, right Freddie? So anyways, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will try to upload the deluxe box tomorrow. Hopefully I'll be feeling better. But anyways, this is Omega signing off with Freddie and we'll see you soon. Take care.